the weasels played a trick on us. They like to watch our old adventures. Well, they like to watch us get hurt. Eventually, we found our promised land and colonized every corner. Some of us settled in the forest, others in the deserts, and even in the snowy wilderness. We mined the lands for their precious stones. We had no worries until we were captured. The weasels imprisoned us in boxes whilst they set to work, planting traps, puzzles, and pitfalls for their own entertainment. The weasels were building a bigger challenge for us lemmings. The weasels think it's all a big joke, but we didn't find it very funny. We've got to get out of here. Hello there, internet world, or whatever the case may be. Um, we meet again after quite a while. This is KYN, and welcome back to my, another one of my Let's Plays of, of a Lemmings game. So, uh, yes, I am still taking a break from um, Let's Play new Lemmings content. I recently finished my LP of Lemmings 3D, which was a game that I never played ever. But uh, after spending the last couple of weeks with it, I actually enjoyed it. And um, it kind of made me wonder why I did not play the game sooner. But uh, yes, I got through all um, 100 levels, including the um, um, 20 practice levels, yeah, introducing me to the various features of the game. Uh, but here, as you can see from the um, uh, title menu here, yeah, I am let's playing another Lemmings game called Lemmings Revolution. Now, I have played this game before, yeah, but um, I completed it uh, several years ago, so it's been a while. Um, and to be honest, I don't really remember the levels at all. Yeah, because, um, yeah, I pretty much, like, came back to the game here and there, yeah, like, occasionally, but not very frequently. And so, as a result, yeah, I don't know the levels too well, but, uh, I am actually pretty, um, stoked to, uh, get back into this game, because I certainly remember, remember uh, liking Lemon's Revolution a lot. Now, uh, my history with this game is that I, um, first played this when I was in high school, uh, that was, I believe it was, uh, during my brother's first year in college so I that would make me a, a junior at the time in high school um, yeah I didn't quite ask my brother how he got it but um, I would just assume that he like somehow just downloaded it somewhere online and then he just uh, passed a copy on to me and so I was able to play it um, I don't quite remember where I stopped that time but uh, I remember I did not complete the game to completion uh, I don't exactly know why but um, um, Lemmings Revolution was definitely something that I did like. Um, I do like Lemmings, the game itself, so, um, yeah. So, Lemmings Revolution was certainly no exception. Now, um, in regards to getting the game working on modern machines, yes, it's a huge pain. Yeah, there was, um, a lot of, like, uh, annoying stuff along the way. Um, one of them being, uh, trying to, um, get a satisfying recording with OBS. And apparently OBS and the game don't uh, work well with each other. Um, first, there was the issue of um, using the, um, the Windows Capture method uh, with Windows 1903 or higher, or later, I should say. And um, the unfortunate problem with that is that if you select that method of Windows 1903 or later, uh, there will be a yellow border around the uh, game screen. And uh, while it's not like a deal breaker in any way, yeah, I do find it like distracting and like um, a bit unsightly while recording. But um, the very nice thing about it though is that it does not show up in the recordings after you're done. So when you watch the back the video, yeah, it's not going to be there. Uh, really, that this way is just to like let you know like what's being captured, and so uh, while you're recording, so. Um, it's essentially for like security purposes, I guess, but uh, even then, it's like I said, um, yeah, it's not a deal breaker, but um, it would be nice to like not have it there while recording. Yeah, just because, yeah, sometimes um, your focus could be somewhere else, yeah, like maybe on the yellow border itself. And so I almost despaired, yeah, in that like, ugh, yeah, I really want to like record my let's play of this game because um, uh, for all I know, yeah, there isn't that many, yeah, with live commentary. Although there is one other member who um, 
did a let's play of this game, yeah, several years ago. Um, but uh, yeah, it's one, or well, probably the only one with commentary, I believe. Yeah, all other ones I've seen, yeah, they're pretty much silent playthroughs, where just uh, uh, videos of the solutions are recorded, but that's pretty much it. You're not going to hear like any speaking or anything. So if that's the case, then essentially my let's play would be like the second one with uh, commentary, audio commentary, those. And, um, but then, uh, I, with some readings that I've done online, yeah, I found this program, or not a program, but like a software, like a third party application. Uh, it is, uh, I think it is DXD. And, uh, it essentially allows you to play the game in win in windowed mode. Yeah, otherwise you are stuck playing it in full screen mode. And, um, the other, the other annoyance with playing it full screen is that, um, if you have any like uh, open Windows Explorer windows, yeah, then they will resize them after you exit. Or oh, rather, they're pretty much resized while you're playing the game. But then, when you exit out to your desktop, yeah, you will notice that your uh, Windows Explorer windows have been minimized. Yeah, but very tiny. Yeah, and stuck to the um, upper left corner of your um, desktop. And so, yes, that is pretty annoying. And it it's even more annoying because of the fact that. Um, you need to keep OBS open if you decide to use that for recording and then you have to resize it and then reposition it again Yeah, so as to get the mirror effect and also to make sure that your the entire screen is getting captured here Yeah, at least for the game that you're recording and um, and, and then there were several other annoyances that like yeah, it wasn't like hard to get it working or anything, but um, um, It was annoying in that like uh, Either the game will crash. Yeah, because apparently yeah, playing in Windows mode uh, doesn't play nicely yeah with the third party application but um then i guess like um yeah i tried another one it's like d3 window or something like that english version um yeah i thought that would work much nicer but uh apparently it does not yeah uh for some very odd reason it does not respect the uh, decision uh decision to like play the game in window mode but uh, yeah, going back to the other one, yeah, the one before the English version, the one that I just mentioned, yeah, I tried applying the color patch for it, and yes, uh, finally it does, there is a, a window version that I can play here, so thank goodness for that. And um, um, yeah, but uh, I would have to like, rely on the um, game that I installed here, yeah, which would be found in the program files, uh, take to Linux Revolution folder. Uh, there was another download that I found online where um, it essentially runs um, perfectly fine yeah, after you installed the game. Um, and also, it does not have the um, um, the weird color or black bar um, glitch and stuff. Yeah, it just runs perfectly. Yeah, and also, um, even better is that um, it does not crash upon exiting the game. Yeah, which unfortunately the one in Program Files does. But, um... Uh, luckily, yeah, in window mode, yeah, it this does not happen, so thank goodness. Because, uh, honestly, once again, not a deal breaker, but it does get very, very annoying. When you have to, like, um, this window pop up telling you that, you know, uh, has stopped, Lemmy's Revolution has stopped working, and then you have to, like, exit out and everything after you quit the game. Yeah, it's really annoying, but, um, thank goodness I found a way to, like, not have that happen anymore. Yeah, with the, um, exe file in program files. And so, yes, um, I am using, um, yeah, which I believe is called DXD, uh, to play in windowed mode and to get around all these problems. And then finally, the last, last problem that I had to deal with was after the game launches into the menu title, um, the uh, mouse cursor would like, just go to the um, bottom right until I right click and then the mouse will work as usual. But uh, fortunately, the easy um, fix for that was to uh, go into compatibility mode. Yeah, when you right-click the EXE, and then um, change the high DPI um, settings, and then you just check the box at the bottom, yeah, to override it, and then uh, set it to application. So um, yeah, now everything works perfectly fine, and yeah, um, it's like I said, yeah, it's a huge, huge pain to um, set up correctly on uh, modern machines, yeah, because you have to deal with the um, uh, color glitches and also just um, working around the annoyances that come with even after you have applied the patch and everything. Yeah, such as the um, game crashing when you exit the program. But um, yeah, with this uh, 
DXD um, program that I'm, or uh, third party application that I'm using. Yeah, fortunately, all those problems are gone after I've made some tweaks and everything. So, finally, just finally, I can finally get on with uh, recording my LP at the game, yeah, which I've always wanted to do for quite some time. And I've even decided on this, yeah, after uh, after I finish um, L3D, <coughs> Lemix 3D as well. So, um, Yes, all the issues have been taken care of, including the yellow border. Yeah. Um, it is so much better this way in that, like, yeah, at least there's no yellow border to, like, stare at. You know, or at least uh, for it to take your attention away from the game itself. Um, and then, uh, as you have saw at the beginning, um, that was just the uh, cinematic video that plays when you launch the game. Yeah, I believe there are some download copies where it won't play, and maybe even some... Um, ISO files that where it doesn't play either, but uh, I think it just really depends on what you have. Yeah, this one happens to have it, so um, yeah, there you have it. So, short story of it all, yeah, as, as we are seeing, yeah, the weasels captured the lemmings, yeah, and made more puzzles, and so therefore, yeah, it's a brand new game, um, where our lemmings are back, and you have to solve the levels by giving them skills. Uh, the very nice thing about Lemmings Revolution is that it returns to the class of 8 skills. So, if you have played Lemmings 1, and oh no more lemmings, yeah. So you just have those eight skills again. So climber, floater, blocker, bomber, builder, basher, miner, and digger. Um, and the only twist here is that um, instead of um, being completely 2D, yeah, um, the lemming levels are kind of 3D in that you are dealing with a cylindrical um, structure, yeah, for each level. And so because of that, yeah, lemmings do wrap around, and there's essentially like no. Uh, and on either the left or the right edges. Yeah, and they will eventually make their way around, yeah, through wrapping. So, um, but other than that, yeah, the games, um, uh, mostly stick to, uh, the, um, 2D. So, um, yes. I'm very, very excited to get into this game, and, um, also, uh, you're not going to see this in, in any future recordings, but, uh, yeah, at the beginning, you also saw me, um, yeah, lower the music volume down because yeah, uh, with a full volume, it uh, it's kind of pretty loud. Yeah, with my um, headset on, and for some very odd reason, the game does not respect your decision on uh, adjusting the volume of the music and the SFX uh, FX. And so, unfortunately, I will have to like um, change it each time. That is, unless someone knows of a way, yeah, to get around the problem. Yeah, but I still haven't figured that out. But in any case, it's not a big deal as um. Essentially, once I've um, adjusted the music uh, volume, yeah, then I'll just hit the record button, and then we can go from there. So yes, um, that is uh, the quick um, crash course of um, the game itself, and um, so yes, um, everybody, welcome to my Let's Play Atlantis Revolution. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started now. And um, yeah, future videos should be more exciting than this one. As um, in this video, um, I'll essentially just be going, yeah, in each like column, I'll be going from top to bottom. So, so I'll start at the very top and then work my way down. Yeah, each column as they become available. And I, I will not go to the next column until I finish all the levels in one column first. So, in other words, I will not go to the second column until I finish all three levels in this column first. Yeah, starting with this one up here. Yeah, which is uh, just climb. And I think that's essentially the way I'll be numbering them, the levels as well. So this will be 1-1, 1-2, 1-3, 2-1, 2-2, 2-3, and so on. Um, so yes, um, in any case, yeah, future videos should be more exciting than this one, just because uh, we're essentially, uh, we'll be seeing some of the tutorial levels here too. Yeah, so pretty similar to how L1 did the game. But anyway, yeah, let's go ahead and start with Just Climb. So we have 10 lemmings here, and we need to save just one. And 5 minutes. So very very similar to um, um, the first level from Fun, except that one was a digger tutorial rather than a climber tutorial. So yes, here's the game screen. So this is what it looks like in level. Oh yeah, fortunately the music's not very loud here. Oh yes, and um, apparently when you pause, the music stops too. So, uh, but the very nice thing about this game is that you can also assign skills while while the game is paused. So, um, execution is somewhat not a problem here, but um, it's still a pain to like have to redo the entire load if you missed a skill assignment, though. Yeah, because there isn't like any frame skipping or time skips or whatever. Yeah, that you get in new Lemix. But anyway, and also, yeah, right-clicking the hatch will um, increase the release rate. I guess uh, apparently the 
maximum it goes up is 50. I kind of forgot about that. Um, yeah, I thought it would just be freely be able to go up to 99, which is the maximum. But yeah, we're just going to go ahead and sign all the lemons climbers here. Yeah, and again, it's not really necessary since you only need to save one here. And um, also, some issues that when you are playing this in window mode, yeah, there are some frame rate issues here. And also, some of the um, uh, visuals, yeah, look a bit off. But um, in any case, they're very, very minor. So, um, yeah, it's not a huge uh, deal breaker here. But yeah, there's a fast forward here. So, fortunately, we have that. But again, no time skips or anything. So, yeah, we just see them climb and then. Then rather than the building, yeah, the goal is to get them all into this balloon. Yeah, that's how you save the lemmings. Oof. Um, this is pretty loud, so... I will have to make sure that I adjust that then. Um, so apparently that is done through the, um... Uh, Windows volume. Yeah, because I checked with the SFX volume. Yeah, apparently that does not change the volume of the, um... Cheering that you hear and stuff. Uh, when you complete the low successfully. Or similarly, uh, when you fail a low and you hear something else instead. Yeah, instead the volume for that is controlled with Windows. So yeah, I'll have to make sure that I um, adjust that for the next time. Because yeah, that one was pretty loud in my ears. Yeah, you know, with the headphones on. Or the headset. Anyway, that's the first low complete. So we can go on to the second one, which is just float. So 10 let me save one again. And as you can tell, it's just our um, tutorial low on the floater. All right. Yeah, I really don't understand why these slows don't allow you to uh, go all the way up to the maximum release rate 99. Honestly, it is a bit annoying just to wait for them to um, all come out. Yeah, at the uh, maximum release rate of 50. Yeah, and I guess for the time being, I'll try to avoid like not speaking while um, the cheering is going on because it's super super loud and you will barely hear me when I'm when if I speak anyway. But yes, that second level completed, so let's go on to the third one, which is just bomb. This time we have 20 lemmings rather than 10, and we need to save 10, so half of them. So even with that increased challenge, yeah, it's still not that hard of a low, since it is just a bomber tutorial. So, this is a crucial difference that you will see here in this game versus Neo Lemmix, in that when you sign the bomber, yeah, there's a 5 second countdown, which will count down, and then once the timer expires, then the lemming explodes, taking away the terrain of around him. And yeah, there was that um, odd... Um, sound glitch there and that like I uh, didn't like play off the bomber sound correctly there so yeah so it's just three bombers and then you're essentially done just make sure that you don't stack the holes on top of one another yeah so there's that bomber sound glitch again so unfortunately that's another issue as well when playing in window mode I guess um, I guess playing full screen yeah it works perfectly yeah you won't have it partially play Yeah, um, yeah, that's pretty loud, so I, I would definitely have to adjust that for the next video. Um, next though, so yeah, now that we finished the first column, we've gone to the second column now. And again, the exact same ordeal. Yeah, we'll go from top to the bottom. Yeah, that's the plan here. So just block, save 15, and 30 lemmings. So we have even more lemmings here, but uh, once again, we only need to save half. Here, I believe um, they go out in each direction here. So we're just gonna put blockers on each end here. Oh, <laughs> he almost got me worried there. I was like, oh, is he gonna go past the blocker? No. Because they just make a very funny turning animation. Yeah, just depending on how, on your view. Yeah, and then we can just fast forward it whenever it's necessary. Yeah, notice how slow they are coming out, even at the maximum release rate 50 50. I mean 50. Yeah, 50 50. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean in regards to release rate? Oh, yes, and I guess the uh, number next to the balloon turns red. Yeah, once you have um, saved enough. 
and then yeah, we just nuke the blockers now. Um, I find the red color to be a pretty interesting choice for that. Yeah, I honestly would think that uh, green would be a much better color, but then again, it might be a bit too close to the uh, balloon icon. Yeah, which is green in color as well. So I might blend in a little too well there, but um, maybe something other than red will work better. Just because red we tend to associate it with being a bad thing. Yeah, it certainly is a Neolemix where if numbers turn red, yeah, then essentially you do not have enough. Yeah, you will not be able to save enough. Yeah, that's exactly what it means there. Uh, but anyway. Um, next level in the second column here, uh, just build, 20 lemmings uh, tend to be saved here. So, build a tutorial low. Let's go. Works the exact same way as the builder in lemmings 1, in that, yeah, you get 10, uh, I, I'm sorry, not 10, um, 12, um, steps to, uh, lay your, um, uh, bricks down to make your staircase, but in this case, he uses wooden planks. Ah, I built a little too far there. And I'm trying to remember if there was ever a sound that played while Bodo was being made. Uh, apparently not. Yeah, just like in Lemmings 1. Yeah, only when you, uh, the Lemmings laying down the last three. Yeah, then there's a sound to indicate that. And yeah, looks like all Lemmings are out now, I think. So yeah, you just need to use a minimum of two builders here. But as you can see, I wasted one since I placed one of them incorrectly. So therefore I need to spend another. Oh yes, and another nice thing about playing the game in windowed mode is that yeah, it at least allows me to see uh, how much time I've been recording with OBS um, open. So right now, for example, it's telling me that I've recorded for 23 minutes. Hey, that's not bad for um, five levels. Um, so next one is just mine. 20 levels uh, tend to be saved here. So minor tutorial here. Let's go. Oh yes, uh, there will be the sound effect for the miner here. Same thing with the basher and the digger. Okay, fast forward that. So. So it does take some time. Yeah, like seriously, what is the point of having the maximum release rate be 50 in these lows? It just um, prolongs the waiting. Yeah, even with fast forward on. Alright, final low of the second column here, just bash. 10 lemmings, save 10. So here's our first save all low that's required. But even then, yeah, it's still not that hard. So yes, we just assign bashers as we go here, as we get to each wall. So yeah, one way arrows, they work the exact same way as they do in lemmings 1. Oh, missed one there. So, seems that the um, basher is only slightly slower, I guess. Um, but I guess you can see the basher slowly take off one piece at a time here. Yeah, it takes off two pieces yeah, as it gets to each column. So, I guess the basher mask is a little smaller. Or rather, a lot smaller. Okay, so apparently that basher will still be able to keep going, even though I assigned it a far from the wall. Okay, and then the next column, yeah, so first one is just dig. So this would be fun one from the original Lemmings game. Yeah, now we're finally at the digger tutorial, and this would be the final uh, skill tutorial low. Yeah, since that here is already seven levels, and this is the eighth one, and there's only eight classic skills, so therefore this is the final one. So just take 20 levels, save 10 here.
So just slightly harder than the original, just because you have 20 and you need to say 10, rather than you have 10 lemmings and you only need to say 1. So, downward arrows here. Hmm. Uh, that is something that I do not remember from this game. But in any case, yeah, it's, it's not a problem here, since we only have the digger skill, and therefore, uh, and the digger goes downwards. Alrighty, speed it up a little now. So yeah, you saw how the lemmings turn right there. Alrighty, so with the completion of the um, skill tutorial levels out of the way, now we can finally get to the real puzzles. Yeah, okay, and of course we start off with the simple ones. Yeah, that is, you go going in the order that I've um, that I'm doing. But uh, here, yeah, in addition to the um, original eight skills, yeah, there are also some other um, new things as well, such as this one. So in this level, introducing water lemmings, twenty lemmings, save ten. So yes, there are also water lemmings in this game, and there's also another type of lemming here too. But I guess we will see that in next one if I had to guess here since we are tutorializing the water lemmings here. So yes, um, as you can see, rather than blue, a blue outfit, they are in a white outfit instead, with kind of a turquoise hair instead. So this is how you can tell that it's a water lemming. And they're just like regular lemmings, except they have one additional uh, property in that they are able to walk across water without drowning. Yeah, if the blue outfit ones walk across water instead, they will, they will drown, so they will get killed. But these lemmings can walk across it while getting killed. Yeah, so it's almost like you can say that they had the swimmer skill available to them. And yes, there are also these levers as well. And when they are pushed, yeah, some effect in the low will happen. I believe there are some lows where they don't do anything either, but I could be wrong there. As I don't think the switches or the levers would be there if that was the case. Uh, but yes, uh, this is essentially like another blocker tutorial, since uh, we only have the blocker skill available here. Um... So yes, uh, you want to go to push the lever on the side where it's um, uh, closest to you. Yeah, rather than go the other way and go across it. So in other words, we have to block here and then we block here in order to walk into the lever. So if I had to guess, yeah. Uh, pushing these levers will fill these water tanks. So, yes. This one fill this, is going to fill this one up, as you can see. Then this one will fill this one up with water. So essentially, the whole point of this is to make the water wise so that um, it's high enough to stop these lemmings from splatting. Because, yes, um, if lemmings fall far enough, they will splat. So, if you can observe here. Yeah, so there you go. And I believe from what I read online, I believe um, each level in this game, the um, each level has the uh, splat height um, set. So it's not the same in every level, I, I believe. Whereas in L1, for example, yeah, the uh, fall distance is always the same. But I believe there are some levels here where the uh, uh, fall, fall, um, the splat fall is um, different for each level, yeah, because it's set depending on the low. So yes, um, this one is just to help them get to the balloon. Yeah, when once the water has become high enough. So yes, that's pretty much what all the lovers do. Yeah, to help them survive the fall and also to help them get access to the balloon. So yeah, let's go ahead and fast forward this. Alright, and then let's go ahead and nuke. So yeah, rather than the lemmings get the uh, countdown itself, yeah, there will be a visual countdown timer um, in the middle of the screen here. Yeah, where the numbers uh, get larger and larger. Yeah, they basically come towards the screen, yeah, and they count down as, as it goes. So yes, a very nice one there. Oh no, there is no um, other tutorial for another type of lemming here. So instead we get block and bomb. 20 let me save 10. And we are given 10 minutes here, so double the amount of time that the other lows gave us. Let's go. They're probably going to go out in both directions, yeah. 
Okay, this release rare is locked. Yeah, I cannot increase the release rare at all. Yep, there's that. Yeah, I don't know what is up with the bomb explosion sound glitch there. So I guess you have to be uh, right where the lemming is when he explodes in order for it to, the sound to play properly. And yeah, I believe that should be it. Oh, yeah. For a second there, I thought he was going to walk past him. Blocker, that is. Okay. Now, all there's left to do is to just fast forward the mode. Maybe it's just to make the execution easier. Yeah, maybe that's why they locked the release right here, but um but even if it was not locked yet, it'd still be a pretty easy low anyway. Okay, so here we have Bastion Mine. 20 lemons save 10. So 10 minutes here. So in addition to clumping the bombers and blockers together, now we have... Uh, they clump the um, miner and the basher skills together in one level. And yes, these are water lemmings, so therefore they'll be able to walk across the water without dying. Or drowning, I should say. So yeah, it's just another very easy blow. Yeah, and then you just mine wherever there's the downward one way arrows. And uh, yeah, another difference as you can see, the arrows are not animated here. They don't move back and forth like they do in the original game and also Neo Lemmix. Well, and the other engines as well, such as Lemmix and Super Lemonai. And all Lemmix are out now, okay. I wonder if there's like no increasing the release rate after all lemmings are out. That's not really something that I like to do, even though it's like pointless. Yeah, and by that I mean like, I like to increase the release, or max out the release rate, anyway. Yeah, even if all lemmings are out. I guess it's just a habit that just, that just grew out of me. <laughs> There's that straggler. Yeah, hurry up you. Alright, next one. Sometimes up, sometimes down. 100, let me say 50. Okay, so... Ah, uh, yes, and now we have these things, where these things, they essentially reverse gravity. So, by using this, yeah, let me walk upside down. And by using this, the lemmings will um, return to the gra gravity to normal. They will walk upside up again. So, yes. Uh, here you also notice that there are two color balloons here. Yeah, this white one, of course, is for these water lemmings, while this balloon here is for the normal lemmings that we have seen already in the first several levels. Um, so yeah, this is just a blocker tutorial, okay. So for the regular lemmings, that means we want to block here. Uh, can we even go up here? That's the thing. Yeah, because if that's the case, then we would really just need one blocker for the uh, normal lemmings done. Uh, let's try it. Ah, and I forgot about a sound playing when a gravity pad is, is uh, walked on. Okay, here we can max out the release rate. Thank goodness, that's better. Okay, yes, we can. Um, yeah, here we don't want the water lemmings to use the... Uh, anti-gravity pad at all. And yeah, they're not release rate sensitive, so um, yeah, you can max out the release rate and every lemming will be able to use- Oh! They cannot survive there. Okay, uh, I would like to try that again. I would like to avoid losses where possible. Yeah, even though it's not necessary since um, uh, you are allowed to lose up to half here. 
Okay, now this surprised me. Yeah, I expected the water limits to survive there. But yeah, it's a very easy fix. Just set blockers here and here. And it doesn't have to be this exact location. Yeah, you can like um, assign them a bit later if you wanted to. But just make sure that they turn around accordingly so that they can make the way down safely. Alrighty, and then let's go ahead and nuke. Okay, so I was exactly where the blockers were, and yeah, it still had the glitch effect. Yeah, the bomber sound one, that is. Alrighty, so that completes the third column of those. Now we go on to the fourth column. Uh, Bash and Dig, 2011 Safe 10. So now we clump the Basher and the Digger together, rather than the Basher and the um, Miner. Uh, but yeah, it's still an, an easy low. Yeah, you just follow the arrows. And then bash and dig according to here. Yeah, depending on what the skill does and uh, which way the arrows are pointing. Okay, um, got someone that will start walking to the right there. Or the left. Yeah, here we have one walking to the uh, right. Uh, yeah, the basher is definitely a lot slower here. Yeah, as compared to L1, for example. Yeah, but luckily there's a fast forward to um, skip those long waits. Yeah, unfortunately here you can see which lemming you're will be assigned a skill, yeah, when you see the um, cursor being highlighted. Or rather, let me being highlighted. Alright, next one. Float and Climb. 10 Lemming save 6. So, another two skills that tend to be uh, grouped together. Let's go. Okay. Release rates are locked here. Alright, and then uh, go ahead and give them climbers. And then the last two over here. Alright. So yes, they will essentially converge to the um, this balloon from both sides. Alright, next one. Build and block. 20 lemmings, save 10. So, back to 5 minutes here. Alrighty, so. Um, let's see. Yeah, so we just need to build up to each floor here. Um, hopefully, I don't think I built at the right spot there. And you don't have to come from both sides if you don't want to. You can just block the ends. Well, I could even let him drown in the water if I wanted. Yeah, or I could have just saved him by having him build too. Yep, I managed to place that one correctly. So therefore, only need to use one builder. Um, okay, I managed to get that one correct too. Let 
You know, I think I remember the uh, music like not playing uh, when you are pausing. Oop. So there, I did not place that one correctly. I don't think there's like um, building on top of each staircase here. Yeah, so unfortunately, I will have to um, sign a little further. There we go. And of course, as you can see, we still save more than enough here. Yeah, so I wonder if it's just something that happens when there are like multiple blockers being bombed. Alright, next one. Seafood, um, Sarni? Uh, 25 lemons, save 20. Um, I'm not sure if Sarni is just another word for sardines. Uh, I'll have to look that up or something. 10 minutes here. Ah, uh, yes, and then we have these lasers. Uh, they're very similar to, um, l uh, lovers, except, um, they are just a one-time thing. In that once they're activated, yeah, then you cannot like activate them again. Yeah, unlike levers, where you can undo, you can mostly undo the effects. Yeah, of uh, pushing a lever by uh, pushing the lever from the other side after you have pushed it the first time. And although, if my memory serves correctly, I believe um, sometimes it's not possible to undo the effect of a lever. But I could be remembering wrong here, though. But yes, here we have four skills, skill types. So bombers, blockers, builders, and blockers. And yeah, uh, this is one of the oddities that I was um, talking about. And uh, yeah, the numbers look a little bit odd here. Yeah, so especially the two here, for example. But yes, it's just a 20 of everything in those four skill types. I believe if you play it in uh, full screen, yeah, then the two will look more like a two. Okay. Um, do we have lemmings come from the other side? We do not, okay. So yes, I believe um, this should... Um, Uh, going through the laser should uh, lower the water, or empty the water. Oh, and I could have sworn it, it played a sound. Yeah, when you did that. Yeah, and that crap in there, that's a uh, trap that we need to avoid. Oh, I could have just bombed the blocker. Uh, that's what happens when I'm talking and getting distracted. And technically, I could have just used one blocker here. Uh, you know what, let's... Let's... Ah! Wrong one. I meant to press try again. Yeah, you know what? Let's just use one blocker here. Okay, maybe it did not play a sound effect when passing through one. I could have sworn that it did, though. Hard to see her. Okay, so I managed to put that correctly. So it's just your standard send one lemming to work to do the work ahead. We we'll have to do it again here. We'll just have them drop down and then build. Alrighty, and then finally we just build to the exit. And I'll go ahead and release the others right now. Alrighty, and the next one, uh, a long and lonely road. Uh, 30 let me save 20. 
Okay, water lemmings here. Let's go. Uh, let's see. So, pretty much the exact same four skill types here, just with water lemmings instead. Okay, um, let's see, which way do you want to go here? I guess it's easier to go through the uh, one with walls. rather than build up there, I guess. And I guess maybe it is possible to go the other way, so we can like bypass it, I think. And you know what, let's try it. If it doesn't work, then oh well. He didn't even hit his head. I expected him to. Yeah, now that we... We did not reach high enough, okay. However, we can build the other way. Yeah, and then we can just come back the way we came from. So yes, never mind. It is possible to bypass it. Those other walls that we were supposed to go through. Alright, and a steel wall that we need to go over. Yep, and I did not put that builder correctly. So, I guess it's harder for them to like, step up in this game. Certainly the way that I put the builder there, um, they would have been able to get up that, yeah, in L1, for example. So, I guess needless to say, um, in, di in this game at least, yeah, it's much easier to, like, waste builders. And a bit harder to use them efficiently. And I believe I will make this the final level for this video. Um, this is uh, Lems at Loggerheads, 10 Lemmings, save 5. Let's go. Uh, 10 climbers, 2 floaters, and 2 builders. Okay, uh, let's see here. Ah, oh, yes, I, I see how it needs to be done. Yeah, eventually they all have to be made climbers here. So we just need to send one on ahead and then we need to make a platform. I would have to suspect that it's possible to like, do it with just one builder though. Um, I gotta try to see if it is possible. Okay, now... It is possible, okay. Although you do have two builders, so uh, to make doubly sure that they will survive, yeah, you can always use the other one. Okay, so um, right now OBS has me has reported that I've been recording for 50 minutes, so that's pretty good considering that we got through what uh, 18 levels, I think. So three, four, seven, five, twelve, and then six, eighteen. Yep. So 18 levels. That's actually pretty good. Um, but uh, yeah, I think I'll we'll go ahead and make a cut here. So um, 
tune in next time for when I let's play more Lemmings Revolution. Yeah, this has been um, pretty enjoyable so far. Yeah, it's definitely great to get back into the game after so long. Um, and just essentially seeing these levels and, and solving them, but this time um, recording myself um, solving them. Yeah, on camera. So um, it's actually pretty, a very exciting um, like um, project that I'm doing. Um, but in any case, yes, uh, tune in next time for that. And um, I hope you enjoyed this first video. And see you all next time.